Mario has changed a lot over the years. One of the things that hasn't changed is the music. The original Nintendo Entertainment System had such catchy music, but why was that? It's because of how simple it was. They used a small 8-bit processor to program all of the music. The speaker could make clicking noises and the CPU would have to time the clicking noises exactly right in order to produce certain tones. So by the early 1980s, most computers and game consoles had dedicated sound chips to take this load away from the CPU. Each system in that time had a very characteristic sound along with its unique style of graphics which helped to give each system its own personality. The voices used in the NES are for the most part stuck making one type of sound. The first two voices can only produce square waves that sound like this. The third voice can only produce a triangle and is typically used for the low bass notes. The fourth voice can only produce noise. And the fifth voice is for PCM sampled sounds, which was rarely used. You might recognize these waves from the cute oscillators in the Chrome Music Lab. Notice how the different oscillators reflect the shape of their wave, and the shape of the wave changes the sound each one of them make. We we'll use these different waves and their different sounds to compose our own 8-bit songs. Notice the four different colored boxes on the bottom. Each one of those represents a different wave, and thus a different sound. rewind and take another look at that song exactly how they composed it. Follow the white line down at the bottom of the screen. Watch as it hits this yellow box. It brings the bass line in. These zeros make no sound, but as soon as it hits the red and gray boxes, drums join the track as well. Each color and number represents a different sound. In the early days, most programmers would just assign a certain sound to a particular voice and just leave it that way throughout the entire song. That was the simplest thing to do. Here's an example from the game Mule. This gave the illusion of having more than three voices. Take this example from Commando. In order to better understand what's going on here, try listening to one voice at a time. Just like in the examples, you're going to compose your own song made up of different voices. Each color is a different voice, and each number indicates what part will play. It's okay if it's repetitive, and you should keep it simple. That's what makes video game music so catchy. 